Hello and welcome to Cricket House Gaming. Here at Cricket House Gaming, we'd like to explore the gameplay of simulation games, usually through a series of Let's Plays. If this sounds like something you're interested in, be sure to hit that like button. And if you're new here, welcome, and be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any future episodes. Today, we're going to explore the gameplay of the tenants, so let's dive in. We are working on the City of Wonders Achieved, the name of our pretty town. It didn't come out of nowhere, nah -uh. It's best to savor all the wonders from up close. Task, complete, elite con contracts five of them we have agreed to do an elite contract it'll be at train station 90 finishing guidelines that are focused on the prestige they don't mind the preferred furnishing the budget is twenty four thousand and fifty dollars we have to complete this job in 10 days here we are at train street 90 happy grande on gluten-free oat milk with sugar-free maple syrup for oh here you are i hope you enjoy your coffee please be careful it's still hot and have a nice day oh yay another tip Thank you so much, it means a lot. We've been using these tips to help save up to renovate our cafe. May not seem like it, but we need some upgrades. Sorry, I don't mean to rant to you about this. It's just that we're so close to our goal. Wait, what? You'll help us for this price? Are you sure? You'll be a hero to our customers and us. Oh, we can't thank you enough. Let's get in here to begin cleaning. Uncle Steve is going to repair all these broken items. We have display cases he's repairing. Now, I'm uncertain if this cafe elite contract job is a puzzle job because this space is tiny. Unless they're allowing us to renovate the outside area. And we're going to salvage a lot of this stuff to player storage. So it looks like we have reached the ma maximum amount that we can put in player storage. Let's send Uncle Steve on out so that we can begin the renovation because we have a deadline of 10 days the tags for this job are posh and contemporary no modern or vintage we have to renovate a balcony and a cafe so let's start with a balcony in the balcony they want us to finish the floors in the concrete it's already done we need seven cafe table this is all we get so we'll put one here we'll put one here we'll put one over here we lost our first tenant ever cindy ponce she said it was a pleasure living here goodbye we were not able to negotiate with her we did get a message from one of our agents but it didn't give me the option to tell him to negotiate and we did not get a chance to go over there and negotiate with her because we had agreed to take this elite contract we have the seven tables and the 13 chairs let's get into that cafe in the cafe they want us to finish the floors in a tile they want posh or contemporary they want us to focus on the prestige we are going to do this checkered stoneware tile they want us to finish the walls in a red we're going to do this purple they want five cafe counters we only have one choice in cafe counters can we pick a different color we'll pick a purple one so i'm gonna put that there i'm gonna move this on top of this can i change the color on this we'll do it in a purple we got one counter we need five of them this posh coffee machine is an item provided by the client for this job only let's put some electricity in here so these coffee machines register we'll put one there and we'll put the cake stand there we need a checkout counter we're gonna put that in a purple we're gonna put the register next to the cake stand we need a sandwich stand we'll put the sandwich stand there we need a menu board We'll put the menu board right over this counter. Move this here and move this here. We're just got tons of cafe counters. We need a cookie jar. Put the cookie jar there. We need a syrup dispenser. And we'll put the syrup dispenser back here. We need a coffee press. That in the middle right there. We need a glass coffee maker. We'll put that next to the coffee press. We need a coffee grinder. We'll put that near this coffee machine. We need a cake tray. We're going to use this medium cake tray tray next to the cookie jar and we'll put this other medium cake tray in the back we need two wall shelves we'll put one here and we'll put another one over this coffee machine coffee bags we need six of them we don't want modern we want contemporary coffee bags we put the glass coffee maker in the wall shelf we're gonna put the cookie jar up there so we have one coffee bag we need six more we'll put three there we'll put a light roasted which is an item provided by the client for this job only we'll put three on this side we need to get cafe tables in here and we only have one option we'll put one in the corner over here i'm gonna move the cake tray over there i need five chairs in here in this corner hopefully it will allow me to do that so i just moved the electrical box in a really sort of dangerous place we just need to put two big plants in here there's a posh aloe vera plant we can put it right there and we're gonna do another posh aloe vera plant we'll put it right there the cafe is an 
an A out of an A. The balcony is a D out of a C. Can we fix this balcony? So we're putting the posh plants in front of trash cans. We'll do a fountain right in the middle. Basic green candles on our table. Keep the bugs away. We have eight days remaining for the bonus payment. The balcony is a D out of a C. The cafe is an A out of an A. The only problem is our cafe chairs are modern and that is a tag that the, the clients do not like as are the cafe tables. So unfortunately, we're going to take a hit when we do a review, but we're going to deliver that job. The individual who hired us is coming on in and she's looking at the bags of coffee. She loves those bags of coffee. She's looking at the cake tray. She loves that cake tray. She is going out onto the balcony to look at the overall design of the cafe that we renovated for her. She loves it. And she's left us her review. Double espresso, new unique items unlocked for railway cafe contract. Complete this elite contract three times to unlock all the items. Let's take a look at the review for the elite contract. Barista, Train Street 90 gave us five stars. A job well done. I feel guilty for paying so little. It's like Smitty replaced the door with a portal to a different world. Astonishing. Here's a tip for good work. Required furnishing five stars. Preferred furnishing five stars. Floors five stars. Walls five stars. Prestige five stars. First impression five stars. We got a bonus of $12,690 for completing the contract within the 10 days required. We got a total payout of $44,416. We did lose our tenant at Boring Lane. Let's get on over to the slums to see what we can do to fix our first property to rent it out. Let's get in here to begin a renovation. We do have this place set up with security. We'll just sell all this stuff. Just leaving those trash cans in there. Palm leaves hardwood. Yeah, let's do that. Posh ass planks in here. What color walls do we want with that green? Let's do crazy wallpaper. In the back room with the ash planks. Maybe this. Yeah, we'll do that. Let's fix this bathroom. We're gonna do the checkered stoneware in here. And for the wall, put the modern gray wallpaper in the back. We're selling that. Do we have anything in player storage that we can use? I think we're gonna get rid of this couch. We're leaving the trash can. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. We'll sell that. We're gonna sell this. Put the fancy TV there. And we'll move this like this. We're gonna sell this as well. We'll sell this toilet. We want to put doors on. We do want a kitchen area. We'll put the sink there. We're gonna put this night kitchen counter over here. We'll put another night kitchen cabinet right here. I'm gonna put this Otis induction cooker in the corner. And we'll put a Osh coal kitchen hood over here. I'd like to put one of these up here. I know it doesn't match, but it'll allow us to stick things in it. I'd like to put a basic blender in here. I'd like to put a coffee machine in here. The trash can near the fridge. We could put a toaster in here. The bank has charged and collected a total of $29,342 to cover our active bank loan. We'll do the modern cafe chairs. We could put a posh plant on the wall right there. We'll put this plumbago on the table. We'll do a modern gothic lamp. We'll do a posh clock over the refrigerator. In the bathroom, we have a nice shower, contemporary massage shower. We'll do that color. We could put this nice modern oval sink in here. Posh fancy toilet. And let's put in this contemporary toilet paper. We do want them to clean the bathroom. So we'll put in this posh fancy toilet brush. We'll give them this modern mirror. We want a posh towel rack right there. We'll do this modern light in here. There's no electricity in this room. Well, we'll put electricity in. There we go. We'll put a corner bed in, in a black and a white. We're going to put the trash can behind the door. We're going to sell these lights. We'll give them a contemporary wardrobe in a black. We'll put a modern sphere lamp in the middle of the room. We'll put this blue rug in this room. We'll put this brown rug under the television area. Let's put a posh aloe vera in the corner. We will put this posh rubber plant in the corner. We'll put this posh wall plant over the toilet. I think I'm okay with what we have in here. Let's leave and have an open house. We're renting the whole place. We'll start the event. We have an individual who is coming on into Boring Lane and looking at the plant on the table. He thinks it's fine. We have another individual who is coming on in. He's looking at that table. He doesn't like it, so get out. We did a lot of work in here, so I don't know why these people are being mean. We have a lot of gentlemen coming in here who are alcoholics. This individual is looking at the television. He loves this television. His name is John Potts. He thinks this place is fine.
fine. A gentleman looking at the trash can. He thinks this place is fine as well. Antonio Curtis says, listen up. I have a situation with a leaky pipe or something. The water is spraying out of control. Can you do something about this? Yeah, I'll send in a pro. Harrison Wagner thinks this place is fine. We have a lady who's just come in. Her name is Matilda Middleton. She hates that table. Everybody hates the table. John Potts thinks this place is good. John Potts has no criminal record and no debt. They only think it's fine. But John thinks this place is good. So let's do a tenancy check on John before he leaves the room because he loves this room. John Potts' tenancy check is bad. So he's got to leave. Get out. Sorry that you like the place, but you got to get out. So we have two people left in here who just think the place is okay. Matilda Middleton likes the place all of a sudden. Let's do a background check on Matilda Middleton. Matilda Middleton has no criminal record and no debt. Let's check her tenancy while she's looking at the table she hates. Okay, her level just went down to fine. Matilda Middleton has an unsatisfying tenancy so she can get out. How are you doing over here? She thinks this place is good. Zara Riley, let's do a tenancy check on Zara. Zara Riley's tenancy check is bad so she can leave. How are you doing, sir? Sean doesn't like the bathroom. Harrison thinks this place is fine. We have another lady in here. Her name is Margaret Weaver. She thinks the place is fine. How are you doing? Unsatisfying. Get out. I don't want to deal with unsatisfying. Margaret Weaver, let's do a tenancy check on you. Margaret Weaver's tenancy check. She's got no history of tenancy. Margaret Weaver, let's do a background check on you even though you have no tenancy. Margaret Weaver has no criminal record. Let's do a tenancy check on Arthur. He's got a good tenancy. Let's do a background check on Arthur. Arthur McMullen has no criminal record and no debt. He is loving the bathroom. Let's negotiate with him. 400 120 days. Let's try to get 5,360 out of him. He says worst deal ever, 1,900. Let's go down to 5,080. We'll make that offer. And he says way too much, $3,330. Well, that's way above the price that they suggest. We'll go down to 4,870 and make that offer. And he says almost there, but not quite yet, $3,800. We'll go down a little bit more. 4,000. 1710 we'll make that offer he says is that the best you can do four thousand and forty dollars we'll accept that level up new items unlocked earn experience by completing jobs purchasing apartments and signing agreement with tenants to level up and unlock new items i will just say we lost our first tenant at boring lane but we have a new tenant in there now he has sent us a message says greeting smitty what a lovely place i'm still trying to recharge my aura after moving in but i'm pretty sure it'll become stronger than ever i hope our relations will flourish. Namaste. I'm gonna end the episode here. Thank you so much for stopping by our Crooked House. If y'all like what you saw, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you want to follow Smitty on his journey to create his landlord empire. It really helps us out. Have a great week. See you soon.